to sky fest oh it's gonna be rocking no but the weather however doesn't look too promising oh but fingers crossed oh but worse comes to worse i don't have some planes like in the hangar that we can check out and document one way or another this guy here is gonna see some antique planes but first i gotta give it some coffee and guess we're going to Oh yeah, Canada's own Tim Hortons. Got to give you some Timmies before head down to Hamilton. That's where it is. The uh, World, I'm sorry, the uh, Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. Oh yeah. for a bit until the lineup dies down uh, it is 8.54 right now um, yeah I just got to sit in my truck a little bit longer yeah I can use another coffee <laughs> Should I go amongst the sheep and wait in line? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I really hate staying in line, to be honest with you. <laughs> but these people are some really anxious people to be willing to stand in line. <laughs> I'll give them that. Truck is locked up. We get to go. Line is moving. The gates is open. The, gate, the gates are open. Let's get it done. This uh, particular area in the museum is really, really special, uh, especially right here, right behind me. Um, this book, uh, They Shall Not Grow Old, and it takes like all of the uh, casu casu uh, casualties of the Great Wars. Uh, right here, it's in alphabetical order. Uh, I believe this is K. Yeah, it's K. Uh, we can read this one right here. It's got Fred Knowles. Uh, correction, Fred Knowles from Stratford, Ontario, killed November 20th, 1944. And I believe he was 
a Flight Sergeant Wireless Operator Air Gun. Check it out. All right, so see here, this diaphragm beside me, this really kick-ass model, uh, indicates a model of the uh, 436 uh, Royal Canadian Air Force uh, Resupply Squadron, uh, also known as the 436 Squadron. Uh, they played a uh, kind of a uh, underrated uh, role in the Pacific Campaign when the British and the Indian forces were fighting the Japanese. Like, these guys were trying to get get the British resupply from between uh, Burma, uh, Myanmar today, and India. Like, supply back and forth between this area called the, uh, the Burma Hump, which I may cover. And one of my podcasts where I do a short story, maybe both, so who knows? here behind me you can hear the engines rolling all these antiques right behind me from the uh i guess uh world war eras post world war eras and uh i guess i'm stretching the cold war eras up to uh the present day and i get i guess uh yeah apparently they have some uh, cf-18s here as well some modern day air some modern day aircrafts here so it's gonna be awesome let's get it See behind me this uh, German interceptor. That, that is the uh, the Falk Wolf. All right, these were the kind of the uh, advanced version of the Messerschmitt, and these things behind me were very very spectacular on bringing down uh, Allied bombers, like Lancasters and the Flying Fortress. You know how you guys, you know I told you guys that I was super excited to see the uh, Supermarine Spitfire? Well, guess what's behind me? Oh, baby. Yeah, um, yeah there's some uh, mechanics right behind me uh, fixing, fixing her right now. And see if uh, they can get her uh, airborne. F-18s right behind me, like either on display or uh, on standby, ready to fly around. And I guess the uh, the weather is somewhat working in our favor. Uh, the sun is peaking right now, and you can see the uh, or actually hear the nostalgic music behind me, and people just enjoying themselves. <laughs> Let's get it.
All right, as you can see right behind me, uh, this is the uh, Curtis P40 Warhawk. Uh, this is uh, marking right here. Oh. Somewhat uh, Chinese markings, uh, Chinese as I mean the uh, Republic of China, the uh, non communist types, I like it, as can say. Uh, I assume these are markings were uh, flown during the Pacific campaign. But yeah, probably see these things up in the air anytime soon. neglect on this plane because it's like the one, one of those underestimated planes like in there especially in the uh the battle of britain right behind me is the uh the hawker Hur hurricane uh one of the other uh fighters that was deployed dur during the uh, defense of britain uh beside the spitfire and oh as can uh hear behind me is a plane taking off yeah pretty cool huh no one's around and i'm the only one here it's awesome <laughs> So apparently the museum is allowing people to uh, take a tour around the Lancaster. Of course there's a lineup. Like it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity, what can I say? I might uh, join the crew, but who knows? But first it's, it's a lot of you guys. So like here we go. Less than an hour left till they shut the gates down, and pretty much it. Sweaty, tired. I take a shower. All right, thanks for tuning in.